my class, Rodriguez. Class is in session. Shut up! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 meanest movie teachers. Mr. Potter, my office. <laughs> for this list, a teacher is someone who's employed by some sort of educational institution. So we've included big screen faculty members and principals as well. Just as long as they're stern, strict, or downright scary. I'm in charge of this class. I'm the warrior chief. Number 10, Mrs. Eve Tingle teaching Mrs. Tingle. Well, well, well. It's one thing to hate your teacher, but it's another thing to try to kill her. It's time for Tingle to learn a lesson. Leanne's history teacher, Mrs. Tingle, does everything in her power to keep her from passing. Make it quick, Miss Watson. Look. I've never cheated on anything in my life. I work really hard for my grades, Mrs. Tingle, and I am not a cheater. You can ask anyone. Vindictive and conniving, Mrs. Tingle envies Leanne's potential and wants her to fail. The smartest girl in school caught cheating. The irony of it all. While the students are the ones really at fault in this black comedy drama, Mrs. Tingle's antics are just plain evil. Your work, Mr. Turner, is very reminiscent of a young man who sat in that same chair some 20 years ago. He too had the words, no future, printed on his forehead. Give your father my best. <laughs> Number nine, Professor Mickey Rosa, 21. Professor Rosa? Mickey, please. Counting cards in Las Vegas takes skill. Dude, I lost count 20 cards ago. Don't call me dude. When student Ben Campbell can't afford tuition to Harvard Medical School, he is recruited by Mickey Rosa to partake in the professor's card counting scheme. Well, let's just say a spot opened up on our roster. But after Campbell loses a ton of money, Rosa lets his rage manifest by threatening his blackjack team into paying back his losses and resorting to stealing money from Campbell's dorm. This is a business. You were only as good to me as the money you make, and right now it's not worth a hell of a lot. You're gonna give me back everything you lost. No, 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 I can't do that. Talk about wanting payback. <laughs> Number eight, Sister Marie-Thérèse Bozou, The Song of Bernadette. Are you pert and different or only stupid? I'm stupid, sister. Catholic school is already horrifying to some, but Sister Vozou makes the stereotypes even worse in this drama from 1943. Toinette, perhaps you can tell Bernadette what the Holy Trinity is. This nun uses psychological warfare to scar Bernadette, a young girl who experiences a visit from the Virgin Mary herself. She never mentioned it. Sister Vozou soon becomes extremely jealous that heaven didn't choose her, especially considering how much she has suffered for the church. You should be thankful, Bernadette, who did not live in former times. Creatures who boasted of equivocal visions and produced springs as if by magic were burned at the stake. As a result, the mistress of novices openly admits that Bernadette needs to suffer more than she has already. And now good night, Bernadette. <laughs> Number seven, Kitano, Battle Royale. <laughs> Unlike most of the other teachers on this list, Kitano from this Japanese action thriller distinguishes himself by using excessive violence and encouraging his students to kill each other. Kitano uses his teaching position to decide who lives and who dies. After returning as head instructor for the Battle Royale program, which is designed to kill off all the students until only one remains, one poor girl dies because she whispers during an instructional video. <laughs> Impulsive and violent, it's best you stay as far away from Kitano as possible. Number six, Edward R. Rooney, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Ed Rooney. Almost everybody knows the famous scene from this classic 80s coming-of-age comedy when the economics teacher calls out for the absent Ferris Bueller. 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 
but it's the dean of students we're focusing on here. And Ed Rooney has had enough of this famous teenager playing hooky, so he goes to great lengths to catch him in the act. It's all right, Grace. It's Ferris Bueller, little twerp. I'm going to set a trap and let him fall right into it. The result? Rooney loses his temper, manages to piss off everyone he comes into contact with, and gets mauled by a dog. We should feel bad for him as he's only trying to do his job, but stalking someone is a bit over the top. Number 5. Jonathan Shale, Mr. James Smith, The Substitute. Uh, something unusual. Smith. James Smith. Corporal punishment has no place in schools. This ain't your class, bitch. I care what the f I want to. You better take a Superman shit somewhere else. Obviously, nobody told substitute teacher Jonathan Shale. Corporal punishment is no longer allowed in the Dade County school system, Mr. Smith. It wasn't corporal punishment, it was self defense, and power achieved is power perceived. Going undercover in his girlfriend's classroom, Shale can't handle his students at first. Yo, you a dumb motherfucker, man! I don't like disorder in my room. That quickly changes, though, as he resorts to military tactics and physically harming his students. <laughs> While the action crime thriller itself is a bit cheesy, Shale transforms the harmless substitute into a force to be reckoned with. About time you boys started hitting the books. Oh, here's one required reading Catcher in the Rye. Oh, my mistake, did I say Catcher? Move in, move in! Number four, Coach Willis, the faculty. Coach Willis, what can I do for you? You look very, very pretty tonight. Kitano may be the most violent on our list, but Coach Willis sure does give him a run for his money. In this late 90s sci-fi horror flick, the head football coach goes on a killing spree for some unknown extraterrestrial purposes. What kind of human being would I be if I did that? Coach Willis sounds and acts psychotic, and there isn't much reason given, at least initially, as to why he wants to infect all these people. Being chased. I like that. Then again, that is probably what makes this cult classic much more interesting to watch. God damn it! Get off the field, you lip bad blow decks! Consider yourselves dead Friday night! Dead! Number three, Dolores Umbridge, the Harry Potter franchise. Detention! Before you start screaming at us about how Professor Snape is the meaner choice, let's examine Dolores Umbridge, who is just cold and more power hungry than anything. As I told you once before, Mr. Potter, naughty children deserve to be punished. The Harry Potter villain is deceitful and uses her position to beat out the information she wants. You know, I really hate children. When you've got a professor saying phrases like, Because you know, deep down, you deserve to be punished. It kind of makes Snape look like the nice guy, don't you think? You leave me with no alternative. The Cruciatus curse ought to loosen your tongue. That's illegal. What Cornelius doesn't know won't hurt him. Number two, Agatha Trunchbull, Matilda. Meat. The titular little girl with telekinetic powers of this children's fantasy comedy had no idea who she was up against when her deadbeat parents finally sent her off to school. Your mommy is a twit. Miss Trunchbull, otherwise known as The Trunchbull, is the headmistress of Crunchum Hall. For her, making the lives of all the students miserable is just part of the job. While her size and demeanor are already intimidating, she even resorts to torturing students, sometimes for the silliest of things. Who was wearing a pretty red hair ribbon yesterday and isn't wearing one today? Let's not forget every child's nightmare being placed in the dreaded chokey. If you can't handle the little brat, I'll lock her in the chokey! <laughs> 
Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. You're not fooling anybody, Bender. The next screw that falls out is gonna be you. Hello, all. My name is Mr. Hand. Tråkigt att tvingas bestraffa en elev för detta kriminella förfaringssätt två månader före student. Hopeless. All right, I'm high as f I gotta get out of here. Watch your feet. Number one, Gerald Strickland, the Back to the Future franchise. Eat wet slackers! This guy seriously did not like slackers. You've got a real attitude problem, McFly. You're a slacker. Mr. Strickland is the resident disciplinarian at Hill Valley High School during not only Marty McFly's time there, but also his father George's. You're a slacker. Do you want to be a slacker for the rest of your life? On top of looking immensely scary with his bald head and mean scowl. Jesus, didn't that guy ever have hair? Strickland is just downright cynical and degrades Marty every chance he gets. No McFly ever amounted to anything in the history of Hill Valley. Not scary enough? We should probably mention that he holds a shotgun to Marty's head in an alternate 1985. All because of a simple mix-up. Marty McFly! Marty McFly! Don't you know me, sir, from school, sir? I've never seen you before in my life, but you look to me like a slacker! But he comes by it honestly, as even his ancestors were hard asses. So that's how you handle him, son. Never give him an inch and maintain discipline at all times. Remember that word. Discipline. I will, Pa. Do you agree with our list? Are these teachers the meanest you've ever seen? No, enough! I will have order! Or are they just child's play compared to others? For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Haven't you learned by now that history always repeats itself? No, I won't go along with that. Thank you.